I went fully into the business world when I was 21, and I had to struggle for the eight years that followed. However, when I was around 29, something miraculous happened, and as usual for me, it happened through a book. That book was written by Dan Kennedy, and I can't remember its title now because I borrowed it from a friend. There's one simple advice from Dan in that book, which ends up changing my life forever, and I'll share that with you in this video. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Here is the thing. Most people in the world think they are broke because they are not paid well by their employer. Some people who want to build businesses think the reason why they are broke is because they don't have a good product to sell. Dan Kennedy gave me a better idea, and that is, you don't have to create a product before you sell it. For you to understand this, let me give you some perspectives into how I did it. My personal story. Before I read Dan Kennedy's book, I owned a blog, but I didn't make any significant money with it. This blog got reasonable traffic, but my method of monetization was not effective because I felt I didn't qualify to create products that could be helpful to the kind of people the blog attracted. Now, when I read Dan Kennedy's advice that I don't necessarily have to create a product to sell the product, a few days after, I got an idea. That idea was simple, but it transformed my life. I decided to meet the experts who have the right skills to provide the services my blog readers needed. I started by interviewing one of those people and transcribed the recorded interview which we turned into our first helpful book. I started to reach out to many other experts in that field. In no time, I had connected my business with more than 100 experts in more than 10 states of my country. A company was born. And that was how I got my first breakthrough in business. Now, get this right. This video is not necessarily about blogging or making money online. It's simply about how you can use what you don't have to make money legitimately. The Power of Leverage I've said it on this channel again and again. The most powerful word in the world of money is leverage. I don't care what other things you know how to do. It doesn't matter whether you work 24 hours per day or have all the money in the world. If you don't know how to use what you don't have, you cannot be rich. To become wealthy, you must learn how to use the money you don't have, the brains you don't have, and even the products or services you don't have. This video is about selling the products you don't have. Think about how you can sell someone else's expertise or someone else's product and make money doing so. You can do this in a big way and you can do it in a small way. Don't worry, either way is good. Because even if you only make an additional $1,000 every month this way, it can add something to your net worth. Again, I advise you to think, think and think because you don't know how much opportunities you have around you until you think. Why this strategy works? Why was I able to build a company by selling other people's expertise? Well, the reason why it worked for me is that I know how to sell and the tools to use. Most people in the world simply don't know how to sell and this includes the people who have skills, expertise and products that could make them money. Some people do know how to sell but they don't know the right tools to use in selling. Let me explain these two variables one after another. Think about selling. It is the single most important skill in business because if you can't sell, you can't make money. What helped me in my entrepreneurial journey is that I seem to know how to sell, or at least more than most people I know. You have to learn how to sell and you can do that by selling. Yeah, the best way to learn how to sell is by selling. And selling doesn't necessarily have to do with selling a product or service. You can start by trying to sell some of your ideas in an organization, church or club you belong to. You can try to sell a movement on social media and watch people's reaction to your offer. You can learn how to sell by making it your duty to walk up to one stranger each day and try to make them your friends. When you try any or all of these things I suggested above, the next thing you'll experience is rejections. Whether you try to create a movement on social media, try to sell your idea in the organization you belong to or try talking to a stranger on the street, you'll be rejected. But that's the beginning of your learning. The more you try to sell anything, the more you'll know how to present your idea and offer to people in the ways that make them want to buy into what you want them to buy into. 
Reading a few books about human psychology, sales and marketing can also help you. After learning how to sell, you must also learn the tools you can use to sell. Every generation comes with different tools and ours is the internet. I have a strong opinion about the internet and I am not sure I am right. But I strongly believe that nobody should be called an entrepreneur in this century until they understand how the internet works. The reason for this strong opinion is because the internet is the strongest and most powerful tool for selling in this generation. I have sold products and services to unimaginable places simply by using this thing called the internet. I sat in my room and sold my products to more than 15 states in my country and about 5 other countries. Tell me any other tool you know an ordinary guy like me could have used to achieve this aside from the internet. And that's why I believe you don't only have to know how to sell, you also have to understand the tools to use to sell. Using other people's platform Some times ago when I wanted to buy some camera equipment for our video production, I went online and ordered some equipment. Something later happened which made me know that the guy who sold the equipment for me wasn't the direct seller. The direct seller doesn't know anything about the internet. The guy who knows about the internet would go to those who don't, take photographs of their products and place it online. Whenever anyone orders for such products, the guy sells it at the price he stated online. The price is his price and he has added his commission. Now there's something there for you to catch. You can either build your platform or use the existing platforms. Your business model also doesn't have to rely 100% on the internet. The business I told you about in this video only use the internet as a tool to get our clients. We provide many of our services offline. The idea I'm trying to share with you in this video is very simple. Don't be limited by what you have. Think about how to sell even when you don't have. Think about how you can sell someone else's skill, expertise or even products or service. This is easier and cheaper than building your product. It only requires that you be very creative. Thank you so much for watching our videos. If you like this channel, we are happy to announce to you that our team has launched three other interesting channels. One of our new channels is called Hunt TV where we publish inspirational videos to inspire and encourage you as you go through the harsh journey of life. Our second channel is called Fame TV where we share with you the interesting and inspiring stories and biographies of the successful people who have achieved greatness with their lives. Our third channel is called Money TV which is a channel designed to use more dramatic video clips to teach you about money. Look at the description box to join our three new channels. We love you.